everybody, welcome back to Card Curiosity, where we try to find the best possible ways to make a good return on your investment in the sports card world. And one of our favorite ways to juice our profits when we're buying a sports card is by sending them in to be graded by PSA or SGC. And so we have a massive PSA order here, 62 cards. This is kind of our last push of cards we're going to send to grade uh, kind of in preparation for the upcoming NFL and NCAA football seasons. And so we're going to, uh, yeah, let's evaluate how we did with these 62 cards and try to get hopefully as many tens as possible and prepare them to sell as we go into the football seasons. And yeah, that's, that's when we expect the hype to come and for these cards to uh, to do well as far as selling goes and, and uh, generating the most profit possible. That's that's the idea here. That's the name of the game. Let's let's get into it. Let's see what we have and see how well we did. Goodness, these are hard. Hard to get these bad boys out of the box. So many of them. Um, don't knock them over. Alright, so here we go. Sliding them out. Set the box back here. And we will we'll stack these in a way, hopefully, that will help us kind of keep track of how we've done. Separating them into piles here. Alright. Let's check it out. So here on the left side, I guess I'll try to even these out. There we go. All right. We'll start uh, start with the right group here. First up, we have a Riley Leonard uh, green autograph to 99. And Leonard is a quarterback we expect to do pretty well this season. Uh, he's transferred to Notre Dame and uh, should help lead the, the Fighting Irish to a solid season. Um, so there's a PSA 10 on that one that's great great news there we have another riley leonard orange to 25 beautiful card got a 10 on that one sapphire edition we have jalen daniels so got a 10 on this uh autograph of jalen daniels while kansas isn't always known as a or thought of as a powerhouse for football daniels is a fantastic player uh very very electric and so he should generate some highlight uh, plays. There's a 10 on a gold one of him as well. So we have quite a few uh, of Daniels here going into the season. That's an orange uh, to 25, orange shimmer. We have an orange sapphire to 25, also a 10 on that. So uh, right now we're doing doing very, very good. There's just a base sapphire right there. Pretty solid uh, with a 10 on that bad boy. Real nice. Uh, there's just a refractor autograph on that one. Got a nine on that, so that's our first, our first nine. Uh, so you know you're not going to get all tens, but we've been doing pretty good so far. Just a base autograph here, ten on that one. Uh, another autograph of Daniels. This one's a refractor, ten. Now if, if you if you look carefully, you'll see this little like what looks like a scratch here on this, and this is an issue with the new PSA slabs. I'm I'm hearing. The uh, the new slabs, for whatever reason, when they press them in here, it uh, creates some kind of a little mini crack that some people, I mean, most people are not, not happy about. Nobody wants to see that um, on their slabs. And you'll see on this one, we got another 10. You can see it up here this time around. So that's a bummer. I don't know what PSA is going to do about that. Um, where a lot of people are, are kind of unhappy about it. You can... It's not like super visible, uh, but it is in the right light. You can certainly see. So there's a Travis Hunter, PSA 10. So far, we're all all 10s with one 9. Um, another Jalen Daniels autograph. Uh, another base auto of Daniels there, 10. Here we have a Travis Hunter base. Travis Hunter, of course. Oops, I guess I'll show you what it got. 10 on that one. Travis Hunter is going to be one of the better uh, all-around players this year uh, when it comes to football. He's on Colorado's team with uh, Deion Sanders. We got a nine on this gold, which is unfortunate. I love when the golds can get tens. Here we have another 10 
uh, from Hunter on the base sapphire. Uh, next we have Drew Aller. Uh, this is a refractor autograph. That's a 10. Aller playing for Penn State will be, uh, I guess, expected to be one of the higher draft pick quarterbacks going into it. So hopefully Penn State has a solid year and his cards uh, prices can go up. Here we have Brady Cook, who should uh, should be one of the top five or ten Heisman contenders. We got a 10 on that. That's an orange sapphire non-autograph. We have a Will Howard, a uh, potential Ohio State quarterback. Mm, haven't announced it yet that he is, but uh, I think it's kind of assumed at this point. We've got an eight on this one, which is unfortunate. I, I tend to not send cards in if I notice that there's a flaw, and I did not notice any flaws, but apparently there was some. Um, we do have an, another Will Howard. This one's kind of a, a jersey match on the purple uh, magenta there. That's a, or not jersey, I guess, color match. 10 on that so that's that's solid um yellow brady cook 10 and a gold brady cook another 10 there um we have some on it cards coming up this is a uh, an interesting kind of set of certain college football players we got a 10 on our first one with quinn ewers ewers does not have very many he doesn't have any tops cards, um, only Panini, I think, from, from what I've heard. And so no Bowman U for Quinn Ewers. These are one of his few cards that you can get your hands on, so glad to get 10s on that one. we got a Brandon Ennis, uh, 10 there. Ennis should be one of the better wide receivers for Ohio State this year. We have this Jackson Dart uh, orange autograph. This is an on-card autograph, which we love. Not many on-card autographs for Bowman. They're usually sticker autos, but we did get a 10 on this one. And Jackson Dart, I expect I expect Ole Miss to be a really good team this year, and he should kind of lead the way. We've got a, just a base Carson Beck uh, card here, only a 9 there, which is kind of a bummer, but it's just a base card. Wouldn't sell for a ton anyway. we got the pink refractor, Carson Beck. He will be maybe the best player on the best team. Uh, Georgia expected to do very well. Here's another Carson Beck gold, and that's a bummer getting an eight on that one. Uh, really, really did not think there was any issues with that card, but as I look now, you can kind of see there's like a little dent there. And I, yeah, I would not think that I would have sent that in if I saw that dent, so who knows? Who knows? There's a, a 10 on the Sapphire for Carson Beck. Uh, base card, 10. You know, the base cards there, we expect during the season to maybe get 40, 50 bucks for them. Sapphire is maybe 70 to, to 80, so that's a, a nice nice little uh, bulk play there on these, these Sapphires. We've got a yellow for Carson Beck at uh, 10 on that. And here we are, down to our last stack. I'll bring these over so you can see. So we got the big stack here, all 10s. We got the nines over here and the eights over here. Let's see what these last ones look like. We got Shadir Sanders. There's a little insert, early risers. You know, we might only get 40, 50 bucks for that, but um, if you're gonna get a 10 on it, you might as well try. We got a 10 here on a Shadur Aqua, uh, number two, 2.99. So we'll slide that up here with the other 10s. There you go. We have Shadur Autograph Refractor, 10. I think Shadur's gonna be one of the most exciting players this uh, college football season. For sure. Riley Leonard. And exciting players, their card prices usually go up, so we'll have to see if that plays out the way we think. There's a refractor autograph for Riley Leonard. Another 10. We have Zay Flowers, so a couple NFL cards here. Laser Orange. We got this from our local card shop. Looked to be in pretty good shape. Again, this is one that might only sell for you know sixty dollars or so during the season, but um, I think we picked it up for around five dollars. We have a C.J. Stroud fight song. I love these cards from 22 Bowman Best in the Ohio State uniform. Got a 10 there. That during the NFL season, we could probably get 75 for that. Anthony Richardson Laser uh, paid around 30, I think, for this at the local card shop, and uh, got a 10 on that one. They're going for around 150 right now, so should have a pretty solid profit on that. We got more of these on it cards. We got Nico. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce the last name, but he's Going to be a stud quarterback, everyone thinks, at Tennessee. Um, so we got a 10 on that one. He does not have any cards out right now, so I think we could get a, a pretty pretty nice profit on on these ones. A second one there, 10. 
We have a Dante Moore who transferred to Oregon, I believe. He may not even be the starting quarterback this year, but he's a great quarterback and he will get his time nine on that refractor auto. So that a little bit disappointing, but um, we weren't going to make a ton of him anyway. We have another eight on this gold lava of Tetroa McMillan. He's going to be a stud receiver this year. So uh, trying to find more of his cards. They, they're kind of hard to find. And I was really hoping to get a nine or a 10 on that. But sometimes you don't. We got Jalen Milrow, Alabama quarterback. Not many cards around here for him. So that's a nice one. A 10 there. Jackson Arnold, pink, got a seven. So there's our worst. Worst grade so far, pink refractor of Jackson Arnold. He's an Oklahoma quarterback, expected to do very well this year. Uh, here we have an autograph of Jackson Arnold, 10 on that. And finally, just a plain old yellow Jackson Arnold, another 10 there. So uh, I'm going to zoom out or just, I guess, lift the phone so you can see how these have spread out. So a whole lot of 10s, which is great to see. Uh, looks like three nines three eights and a seven and a whole lot a whole lot of things so i guess six seven so 55 55 tens is pretty stinking good out of 62 cards so great gem rate um this submission and yeah hope you enjoyed this these are the players that we're looking forward to to uh, watching and selling uh, this this fall as football season begins and starts to ramp up. Let us know what you guys are buying. Until next time. A few moments later. Wait a second. I forgot there's more. Another box. There's just a couple cards left here. So, faked you out. Faked myself out. This is part of the same order. I thought we might have missed a few. So, goodness. Here we go again. Uh, Carson Beck Refractor Auto got a 10. That's beautiful. Um, that'll be worth a lot. Uh, during the season, we have a Jackson Dart, another one, 10. This is his Bowman first from 2022. Lava out of 199. That's going to be a great, great card, and that will demand a, a pretty penny, I think. Here's a 2023 version. It's not his first, but we did get a 10 on this yellow of Jackson Dart. We have another Jackson Dart. Uh, yellow from uh, 2022, which is his first, and unfortunately, got a nine on that one. Um, some of the older cards can be more difficult to gem. Uh, 2022 Bowman first of Drew Aller, and another 10 there on that autograph. We have another base autograph of Drew Aller, 10. Great. We have another NFL one, Will Levis, green. Got a 10 on that one. Not too bad. I think we grabbed that from uh our uh, local card shop as well so another 10 right there luther burden is a stud receiver should be a top 10 draft pick should be you know getting the ball all the time uh, from brady cook for missouri and that's a sweet looking card he does not have any bowman cards out yet uh, that i'm aware of quinn ewers another one there 10 for the quarterback uh, Another one, 10. Another one, 10. And lastly, we have a refractor of Shooter Sanders, 10. So, so there we go. We added a few 10s and one more nine. Still, what do we say, 55. So we're at 54 out of the 62 cards, PSA 10. So we're thrilled with that. Um, let us know how you guys are doing uh, with your submissions. Until next time, stay curious.